Can you guess what this video is about? Yeah, we kind of gave it away, didn't we? That's right. We are learning about rocks in this video. Rocks are all around us. You see rocks all the time. And some rocks are huge, like the rocks that make up this massive rock formation. They're huge. But then sometimes rocks can be really tiny. Wee, wee, tiny little baby rocks. Rocks are amazing. and They're all around us. All right, so what are rocks? Well, rocks are solid chunks of one or more minerals. Rocks are mineral chunks. There are solid chunks of one or more minerals. Now, most rocks are mixtures of multiple minerals, like these rocks. Other rocks are made up of just one mineral. Like in this picture, this is a picture of chalk. Chalk is a type of rock made of a mineral called calcite. The next time you play with chalk, just think, wow, this is made of calcite. These are like sticks of calcite. Chalk is a rock that's made of calcite. So, rocks are solid chunks of one or more minerals, and they are super fun to learn about. That's why geologists are so cool. Geologists are rock experts. They study rocks as their job. Geologists disagree about how many different types of rocks there are, but we can all agree on this. There are so many different types of rocks. To make things more simple, rocks are put into three categories, three major types of rock, sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. Can you say those with us? Sedimentary, igneous, uh-huh, and metamorphic. Yeah. Now this is pretty interesting. The category that a rock belongs to tells us how that rock was made. Here, we'll show you with our first category of rocks, sedimentary rocks. All right, so what are sedimentary rocks? Sedimentary rocks are rocks that are made up of little particles. They're made up of little particles. The particles are called sediment. Can you say that with us? Sediment. Yeah, sediment. An example of sediment is sand. Yeah, sand is a type of sediment. It's kind of cool. Seashells are an example of sediment as well. So there are lots of different types of sediment, but they're particles. They could come from non-living things like sand, or they could come from living things like seashells. That's fun. Sedimentary rocks are made up of little particles called sediments. And you can even tell that from the name, sedimentary. <laughs> Sediment is in the name. So if you forget, just look at the name. Sedimentary. Sediment is in the name. So the way sedimentary rocks are formed is by sediments collecting at the bottom of bodies of water like lakes and oceans. The sediment is pushed down by the water and over time, the sediment starts to harden into rock. Water is what really makes sedimentary rocks. Without the water, the sediments would never harden to become sedimentary rocks. They need water. Just think, in that water, right now, sediments are getting pressed down and are hardening to become rock. The molecules in the water help the sediment stick together, kind of like cement. That is how sedimentary rocks are made. Okay, we have two categories left. Hmm, let's learn about metamorphic rocks next. Metamorphic rocks are made when a rock goes through a lot of heat or pressure. Remember, sedimentary rocks need water to be formed. They need water. Metamorphic rocks are different. Metamorphic rocks are rocks that need heat or pressure to be formed. Here's a simple way to remember that. The word metamorphic has another word inside of it. The word morph. That's interesting. 
The word morph means to be changed. So when you think of rocks that are changed by heat or pressure, think metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks morph. They are changed by heat or pressure. Metamorphic rocks are formed below the Earth's surface. That's cool. And here's the thing, okay? They make up a lot of the Earth's crust, which is the outer shell of the Earth. Much of the Earth's crust is made of metamorphic rocks. So we're not talking about this type of crust. We're talking about the Earth's crust, okay? You can see that the Earth's crust, the outer shell of the Earth, is broken up into these things that almost look like puzzle pieces. Scientists call these plates. Here is a map of these plates, okay? And they have a really cool name. Scientists call them tectonic plates. Can you say that with us? That's so cool. Tectonic plates. These huge plates move and push against each other. And there is a lot of heat and pressure there. Oh. That's why there are so many metamorphic rocks that form in and around the Earth's crust. Wow. <laughs> Mystery solved! And this is cool. The heat and pressure not only change what the rock looks like on the outside, they change what the minerals themselves are like, so the rock actually changes form. That means the heat or pressure morph the old rock into a new rock. A metamorphic rock! Now, sometimes sedimentary rocks get pushed into the earth and are around pressure or heat. Then the sedimentary rock turns into a metamorphic rock. It morphs or changes into a different rock. It has become metamorphic. So, heat or pressure create metamorphic rocks, and they usually form deep under the surface of the Earth, in and around the Earth's crust. Alright, now we've come to our final rock category, igneous. This is really interesting. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools and hardens. You might be wondering, what does molten rock mean? What is molten rock? Well, this is molten rock. Molten rock is liquid rock, and there's two forms of it. Inside of the earth, molten rock is called magma. That's right, magma. But when it comes out from inside the earth, it is called lava. Lava is molten rock too. Lava is molten rock that is no longer inside of the Earth. So igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools, and that molten rock can be magma or lava. Do you remember how metamorphic rocks are formed from pressure or heat? Well, igneous rocks are kind of the opposite, aren't they? Igneous rocks are formed from molten rock cooling. Isn't that interesting? Metamorphic rocks are formed from pressure or heat, and the igneous rocks are formed during this cooling of molten rock. Sometimes metamorphic rocks are heated so much they turn into molten rock. When this molten rock cools, it becomes an igneous rock. That's pretty cool. A common place for igneous rocks to form is a volcano. The lava that erupts out of a volcano cools, but the magma below a volcano can cool as well, forming igneous rocks. Remember, rocks are chunks of minerals. They are mineral chunks, and they are grouped into three different categories. The first category was sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks are formed when particles called sediments join together. It is almost like they want to be friends as they form a new rock. The second category was metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks are formed from heat or pressure. It is almost like when someone gets angry, their face, actions, or words can be changed or morphed. Finally, the third category was igneous. 
Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools off. This molten rock can be either magma or lava. Igneous rocks are like when someone was really angry but decides to take deep breaths to start to cool off. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock chills out. We've talked a little bit about this as we've learned about these types of rocks, but rocks change. Scientists call it the rock cycle. Igneous rocks can break apart into sediment and become sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks can be pushed into the earth and become metamorphic rock. And metamorphic rocks can turn into liquid rock and cool into igneous rock. That's amazing, isn't it? That is called the rock cycle. It's fun to learn about rocks. Next time you find a rock, find out what type it is and think about all that that rock has gone through. Rocks aren't just chunks of minerals. They tell a wonderful story about how the earth works. Special thanks to our patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to help us and also get some cool homeschool pop tattoos, click the link below the video or visit homeschoolpop.com to learn more. As always, you are so awesome. Thanks for learning with us.